Yo, what's up guys, Dark here, I'm back another commentary, and today I have a Slayer on Eden gameplay for you guys, and today, I just want to kind of explain how to play Slayer on Eden, and what, you know, I think is the best setup to have, and the best way to play it, and in this game, I kind of play like, you know, I play really aggressive, and I think this is really my play style, being aggressive, like a Slayer type of role I love playing, so right here, I'm just pushing rockets on outside, kind of anticipating people to be red bend, so I'm nading it, and my teammate just takes rockets, and I'm pushing with him right now because it's always good to push with your teammates, even if they have a power weapon, I think. And right here, I think he's in the corner, but he ran back to red. So I was going to collapse in on this guy red, but the thing about that is you really want to have blue control on this map. And when you push too far into red, they're just going to start spawning behind you. And there ends up being a guy at Turbine, and I out-pistol him. And I'm just kind of slowly going back red, or back blue, my bad, because, you know, I don't want him to spawn behind us. And... I ended up just getting perfected with the light rifle, the guy who spawned rockets, because we may have pushed, you know, like I said, too far up. So um, you really want to lock down blue and spawn blue. So I got a good spawn here. And the first thing I do off spawn is go catwalk because I don't see a teammate there. So I clean up one guy here. He didn't really, you know, anticipate I was going to spawn there. Um, you know, right here I'm cutting back the blue band right now to help my friend Warren get some shots on this guy right here. Um, there are two guys here, so I just stole grenades. I end up getting one of the kills, and this guy right here, I'm just going to let my teammate clean him up. And, you know, it's really good on this map to hold down blue side. I'm telling you guys, blue is far better than red by far. Um, the base, you know, is kind of up on, you know, it's a little bit higher. You have the catwalk. Um, in my opinion, I think rockets are a little bit easier for you to get because you have that little sneaky area. So, I don't know. I feel like blue is a way better power position um, than red. And if you, guys watch, if you guys watch competitive gameplay, you guys will really notice that. Um, how important blue is and the setup you know people I run with you know we do uh, we send two like catwalk like kind of this catwalk blue area to shut it down and then we send um, two blue band in that area so we can kind of watch both sides and um, sniper is so very important on this map I think this is one of the best sniping maps in the game it's really perfect it's meant for a sniper in my opinion the long sight lines and just how open it is in the middle and it really could prevent people from pushing so right here I got a shotgun and right here I'm just trying to fight for rockets. I'm pr I just playing pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to get it. Um, you know, I was like, you know, they're probably going to get it. There are like three guys there or two guys there it seems like. So I'm just kind of crouching trying to make them work for it. They didn't pick it up for some reason even though they had two guys there and I ended up getting a double kill. Right here I think I died. Yeah, I died because I, I think I had a bad shot at the, at the last what the heck, at the end there. So um, I feel like I could have aimed a little bit better but whatever it happens. Um, no one still picked a rocket, so I'm just trying to push in and help my teammate. I'm the last alive, so I'm just trying to stay alive right now so you see me back up. Um, I have my teammate spawn on me. And that's a really important thing that you could do. Um, when you're last alive, don't just rush out there and die. Kind of stay alive and hopefully you can give your teammates a good spawn. Um, especially if you guys play Halo 1. Uh, Halo 1, if you mess up spawns, like you will screw over your teammate. So right here I just got rocketed around a corner. My body was kind of freaking out there. But um, they're making a push to blue right now. You got to, you guys have to be really aware when they make a push to blue. You really have to let your team know where they're pushing from, so you guys could you know kind of pinch them there. Because if you just let them take over blue, like you pretty much you're gonna give up a few kills, at least ten kills against a good team. So um, I feel like it's so important to stress to your team where to you know where they're pushing, so you guys would all collapse on them. And right here, I don't know how I got that beat down, um, and I juked him out the thrust right there. I'm just staying alive right here. I, don't, I didn't need to challenge that third guy, as you guys saw right there until my shields came back. And there's really no point. Don't do not challenge when you're one shot against. I don't care against it. if it's against like a noob. I don't care who it's, who it's against. I mean, I really feel like you don't underestimate anyone really in Halo. Like you never know how good the person's shot is. So I just sat there for a second waiting for my shields to come back. Then I popped back out and I got the uh, triple. Um, right here, I use SMG. My, teammate cleans him up right here I'm just trying to stay alive as long as I can using the thruster to my ability which you guys should really use because it throws off people's shots like crazy and I end up getting the rockets and <clears throat> I think on this map sometimes it's good to have people in blue like three people in blue have that one person with like power weapon or you know overshield or something push up and or if camo and kind of push up and flank them just kind of to, to the you know this is yeah kind of to disturb them um but you just got to make sure if someone's locking down back blue so they don't spawn behind you. As long as you guys have someone in blue, they shouldn't spawn behind you at all. Um, or just someone locking down the spawns. Uh, right there, I shot the rocket back, um, you know, back back blue right there. I thought I was going to get the kill, but right there, that was just some great rocket play by me, I think. Um, did a good job of knowing my angles, what angles, you know, kind of 
be wary of like hey the guy can shoot me from here so i'm gonna take this angle so he can't see me night you know i think that's the best thing to do in halo um kind of really watch angles like that people can shoot you from if you're in a one-on-one -on -one battle the thing i like to do is kind of cut off if i see like a two-on-one for example actually um the thing i like to do is kind of block off the angle to one the guy shooting me so only it's like a one-on-one -on -one. and i feel like that'll help you win so many more of those two-on-one -on -one situations because you end up killing one guy or whatever and then you just kind of sit there you know stay alive or whatever till your teammates can maybe put some shots on the second guy and then you end up getting both kills so i think that helps so much and it really makes you a smarter halo player in my opinion so I do that a lot, and I think it's really, you know, it's really fun just outplaying two people at once like that, just because, you know, you're playing, you know, with your mind, not just rushing out mindlessly. <clears throat> so, right here, Rockets are coming up soon. Um, you guys may may know, like, by now in Halo 5 that, um, you know, weapons have timers and stuff like that. You know, um, the thing about that is, even though they tell you, like, hey, weapons are coming up, blah, 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 um... You know, you should still be on top of that and know what time they are, like, set up a minute before. So, you know, you guys have, you know, map control on that side of the map before the power-up and timers even come up. I feel like that's really important, too. Um, right here, kind of, I don't think I should have shot that long-range rocket right there, to be honest, both of those, because, you know, I just felt like, you know, long-range rockets are so easy to dodge, especially in Halo 5, so um, I would only use them at, like, close to medium range. I don't know how that rocket didn't kill the guy. I was kind of going crazy there. I was like, what the heck? Um... But, you know, just don't get too frustrated about stuff like that. I'm just checking the stats. I don't know why because, you know, the game's almost over. I'm on a frenzy right here. I'm pretty hyped this game. I was like, my shot was on and everything. My shot's been on the Halo 5 for a long time because I've been playing it so much. Um, that's something I noticed too, guys. If your shot's really bad, um, you know, play a lot of the Octagon and stuff like that. And I think the biggest key I've been doing the past couple of days to really my, make my shot, like, really, really good is I shoot at like the widest part of her body. I know I told you guys that in a recent video, but I forgot to do that a lot in Halo 5. So if you shoot at the widest part of her body and just kind of aim up for the last shot, it's an easy four, easy five, and your aim will get a lot better. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I had so much to cover in that video, but I think it was a pretty good one. I'm gonna do a lot more of these. I love doing these. Like these are really fun to do. I just said these like 50 times in the last freaking minute, but. It's so fun to do, and I love making videos on it. And as you guys can see, I'm like a rank 111. I've been playing a poop ton of this game. So, man, this is crazy. I really do love Halo 5. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm out. Peace.